2023 Jeep Wagoneer L first test, the lower spec Hurricane I-6 is still fantastic. We love big engines as much as the next gearhead, but there's something to be said for the silky smoothness of an inline 6. The resurgence in popularity of the i6 has been one of the surprising upsides of power plant downsizing in recent years. As Stellantis phases out its V8 engines, around which it has built a cult-like following of enthusiasts, the global auto manufacturing conglomerate ushers in its new lineup of twin turbocharged inline sixes, destined to land under the hoods of cars like the Dodge Charger. The new engine has already found a home over its sibling company Jeep in the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer luxury SUVs. We tested a 2023 Jeep Wagoneer L equipped with a Hurricane producing the base output to see if this engine is right for a big three-row SUV. All hail the Hurricane! Powering onto the freeway for the first time, the 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged i6, which Stellantis calls the Hurricane engine, muscled this big Uda to speed without straining. The power plant does a great impression of a V8 in terms of its power band's linearity and unyielding twist. It probably helps that the mill churns out 420 horsepower and 468 lbft of torque. Although the sound is more subdued than a Hemi's, the engine is remarkably smooth and responsive. The 8-speed automatic transmission is a willing companion, sending power to the wheels with clean, quick, and crisp shifts. Our testing figures backed up our subjective feeling of fleetness, 0 to 60 miles per hour flies by in just 5.5 seconds and managed to run the quarter mile in 14.1 seconds at 95.1 miles per hour, shockingly brisk for a vehicle that weighs 6,201 pounds. Braking is less impressive, at 140 feet from 60 miles per hour. Still, the big Jeep's hustle makes the Wagoneer L well suited for use as a daily driver. Jeep's long and luxurious three-row SUV held it together on canyon roads too. Steering is light but precise and maneuverability impresses in parking lots and on curvy roads. A front-slash-rear weight distribution of 51-49% certainly helps in the handling department. The adaptive air suspension does a good job at making the Wagoneer L drive like a smaller vehicle than it is. Most small bumps aren't felt in the cabin, although larger imperfections shake the Wagoneer L with a shudder typical of body-on-frame vehicles. The really bad stuff brought out some cowl shake, which isn't surprising given that this SUV's body is one long metal tube. Brake pedal feel is also commendable, making the Wagoneer L easy to control with confidence. The exquisite drivetrain pairs well with the Wagoneer L's available air suspension system which automatically adjusts its ride height depending on velocity. At freeway speeds or in sport mode, the Wagoneer L hunkers down for a more aerodynamic stance. High speed stability is excellent. While plying the desert roads surrounding Motor Trend's testing facilities, the Wagoneer L played the part of a grand tourer, albeit one that looks like a blinged-out brick. Fine Amenities Inside, the Wagoneer L continues to demonstrate a commitment to quality a year after its introduction. There's a ton of nicely made switchgear and even the well-weighted shift dial makes a satisfying click. Cabin space feels enormous and flipping down all the seats opens up a cavernous 130.9 cubic feet of storage area, more than a Chevrolet Tahoe or a Ford Expedition Max. Even the third row has enough room for mid-size adults to sit without scrunching up. At 36.6 inches of legroom, the back has more space than the second row of many compact crossovers. There's more to the Wagoneer L than simple space, however. Although the interior exhibits a family-friendly characteristic unshared with the Lux Grand Wagoneer L, the cabin has a nicely bolted-together quality that should be perfect for the target customer. High-tech features include a 10.3-inch digital instrument cluster with sharp graphics and legible fonts. The 10.1-inch infotainment display comes with wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and another 10.3-inch touchscreen handles the car controls like the air conditioning. An Alpine 10 speaker system was equipped on this Wagoneer L, and it seemed to do a great job filling the cabin with full-sounding audio. Safety and Efficiency Jeep equips the Wagoneer L with loads of standard active driver safety features. 
Our car was equipped with automatic emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, adaptive cruise control with stop and go functionality, lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, rear cross path monitoring, and rear parking sensors with automatic stop capability. It also had optional features including adaptive cruise control enhanced with semi-autonomous functionality, night vision with pedestrian and animal detection, intersection collision assist, drowsiness detection, traffic sign recognition, a 360-degree camera view, and automated parking capability. The Wagoneer L drives itself down the road, with driver monitoring, reasonably well, but the lane keep assist isn't quite as good as we experienced in other SUV of the year competitors. However, it holds speed perfectly with adaptive cruise control whether it's going up or down a hill. The automatic braking and throttle responses feel natural, and drivers won't mind letting the Wagoneer L take over for a while on a road trip. Efficiency is right on target for the segment. A four-wheel drive Wagoneer L like this one should return 16-23-19 MPG city-highway combined figures that are in the same ballpark as the 5.3-liter 2023 GMC Yukon XL 4WD which manages 15-19-16 mpg. Those that are slightly more efficiency conscious can opt for the smaller hybrid 2023 Toyota Sequoia for WD which squeezes 19-22-20 mpg out of its electrified twin-turbocharged V6 engine. Is the hurricane-powered Wagoneer L a catastrophe or a success? Based on our initial impressions and test figures, the Hurricane-equipped Wagoneer L is a capable and thoroughly modern three-row SUV that we'd happily use for hauling family and friends. At a starting price just under $74,000 and as tested price of $85,000, the Wagoneer L makes a fine case for itself. It's equipped with technology that's on par with the best in the industry, capable of hauling lots of cargo, and is remarkably easy to maneuver. It's a particularly good buy if the Grand Wagoneer's higher price tag crosses over your personal threshold. We enjoyed our time in the V8 Wagoneer during last year's SUV of the year testing, but the Hurricane engine leveled up Jeep's three-row SUV in a way we couldn't have predicted. The V8 is dead. Long live the Hurricane i6. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.